Hello, hello everybody, this is Ash, and welcome to another episode of Create Arcane Engineering. Um, so, uh, I cleaned up a little bit of our Chapter 3 area, and also our Chapter 2 magic uh, automation. Um, as you can see, looking at this view, um, this side of the base was looking a little plain, uh, which is why I, I set this up, and I also uh, made a windmill to power everything. So we can take a closer look. Alright, um, so over here, this is just a windmill sail, and it's going in, and it's powering it where we had these water wheels earlier. Uh, and it has been working, uh, however, for some reason, these time in a bottles don't want to stack with this in the oak drawer, so I might have to switch that out for a chest or something. Or, I don't know, a filing cabinet, um, if we have those. Um, but you can see, um, I've also been doing some bug busting on it. Um, so, there was an issue where we weren't getting enough um, of these crystals because our dust, arcane dust maker, was pulling um, our specs too fast. So in order to fix that, uh, what I did was I switched this to pull out nine at a time. So by the time we uh, get over here, right, at least two of these batches of nine arcane dust will have come out, which will be enough for two um, of these blocks um, before um, it crafts it all into dust so that it can repeat the cycle. Um, and uh, it actually brings out three at a time. Um, so um, if there's like if this is filled up and it can can't get too many uh, spec groups out, then we have enough dust anyway, or uh, enough uh, specs here to craft the blocks anyway. Um, then I also added a bit of redstone control, um, and and I switched out all of the uh, filtered shoots since they don't seem to want to work with this um, controller setup. Uh, I'm not sure what caused the bug, but... So all I'm doing is I've got a threshold switch, and I've got it set to... Oop, no, no. Oh, God damn it. So... It is... Uh, when it's at 10%, um, it'll switch and um, it will then... Okay, so, so while it is lower than 10%, this is off and it can pull dust out. Um, then when it switches over, this is on and this can't pull dust out, but this can pull dust out. Right, let's see, right now this one's off. So that means um, it splits up the dust so that, because before what happened is we um, filled, we used all of the dust on Menanda Bitter um, because this was pulling it out faster. Now that might be because of the filtered sh shoot not being able to pull stuff out, and maybe it would have round robined it. Um, if I used a brass funnel for both of them, uh, but this uh, guarantees that it comes out correctly. Uh, all of this has been working fine. I also, there was a bit of an issue where I didn't have the pusher upgrade on this, um, so that wasn't running, and you know, a couple things like that um, that I just had to sort out to finish up. And then I also I uh, built this little um, building off the side in a similar style to this. 
um, that kind of, you know, we can fly in. We'll have our, I originally planned to have the skyport here, but because of the windmill in the way, we're probably going to have it over here, and that's going to deliver our arcane gold, uh, which we'll probably sort out next episode. Uh, but we'll make the farm today. Then, uh, if we go through one of these alchemies, we can see uh, I cleaned up this area a little bit as well. Uh, so, um, what I've done is I've said when this is at 75% full, um, it switches over and it turns on this chute and that shuts off the whole system. Um, since it doesn't need to run. And uh, what I've also done is this same signal will... Sorry. Oh, the windmill stops my flight um, when you touch it. It also powers this adjustable chain gear shift and doubles the speed of all of these machines. So, um, so when that's not running, this runs faster. Um, yeah. Uh, um, and and that's you know I don't I don't know how often it'll come up, but um, this way I can connect them both to the same windmill and use the full windmill um, stuff even when this is off. Uh, and I, I put on an off switch for this mainly because I was. Like, even without it running, I'm still getting, what, 30, 34 something frames? Uh, so it's getting pretty low. Uh, also, I have added some threshold switches to these basins, um, which will power these cog blocks, which will block these brass funnels so that I don't have items just sitting on top of the basins. Um, while this isn't running. Um, yeah. Um, so that kind of blocks our mycelial source link, um, but we haven't been using enough source to need it anyway. The uh, agronomic one is good enough. Um, ah, yes, and I also uh, added... Um, I took my lava that I routed over to here, and I sent it up to um, our re resent um, over here to, all right, what did I name them? Clyde? I think I named them Clyde. Uh, so yeah, I think I didn't, I didn't do my, my notes this episode, did I? I think this was all last episode. Um, maybe, I don't know. We want to do this one now though, so that we can build our big tree. So, um, I, uh, so I've, I've made up a splitter and uh, a bunch of warpers and ritual braziers and flight rituals. You can see over here. Uh, I've made up a bunch of this stuff. Uh, we're probably going to need more warpers. Um, and we are going to get up um, a bunch of rituals of flight around the base. Um, and uh, yeah, so to do that, I need to design, uh, I think a hot air balloon is what I'm going to be using to hold the, the flight rituals. Um, so we're going to need one, yeah, they're, they're going to be probably around the outside of the base, um, and, and we don't need to load the chunks since if we're in the base area, they'll get the source um, needed to run them uh, from our source gen over here. So yeah, let's go into a creative world and design these. All right. So we are in a creative world. Um, here is a brazier I set up to actually um, 
test the range of the flight ritual. So if the ritual is here, then um, you can see the range, it's spherical, so it doesn't, it's not a box, it's a sphere. Um, and it goes 60 blocks vertically, or at least up, and I'm guessing the same as down. I believe it was 56. Um, radius, right? And and this is so you can see this block gave me the ritual when I tested, and this block didn't, which is why um, I I am I, I know it's because sphere because that's not in line. So let's design a bit of a blimp. So let's go. Oops. What kind of blocks do you want? Let's go. Got a cloud in a bottle. Leave. Let's me place stuff in midair. Yep. Um. Yeah. Okay. So for our stuff, let's think of a block palette, right? We have a lot of deep slate, a lot of mineral. Um, I have some enchanted blue. Let's let's have a look at planks, right? Um, I feel like having, you know, like a something spruce might work nice. Um, I like these blue enchanted planks because I've got a bit of a different shape. Um, then maybe some men roll as well, and maybe one cherry. Right, but let's say we create these, use these four blocks for, um, these are access, accessible, and, and we can, we can use them. Right, let's, let's go and place this here. So, um, our flat ritual, it's got to be pretty small. So, if we go ritual brazier, we need a ritual brazier, a horse jar, right, which could be probably right above it, maybe, or, or maybe we reverse that. So, we have a source jar. Um, something like that, and then we can have a link or a whopper. And let's put that there, right? Let's imagine this is our core. This can look like a magical burner or something. Um, we I don't want it to be too large. Um, we could use some steps. I, I'm thinking maybe something close to um, weather balloons. Uh, that's a little too lit not enough, right? So maybe we go we grab a cover, is it called? No, it's a panel. Let's say, want this here, then we could go, maybe like that, and then Um, like a wall, maybe? Some kind of wall? Uh, what kind of color goes well with this? What's Gloria? A little dark. Oops, then. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So then we could have something 
Like a cut dripstone, let's use something with a bit more of a texture on it. Uh, and now I'm thinking that this doesn't look beefy enough. So what if we do that? And then like that, or, or maybe we get rid of that and we go Um, I, I, I don't want to use the frame blocks because I'd like to place these with um, our, what are they called, uh, schematic cannon. We could use a radiator fan, how does that look? Uh, if we rotation lock opposite way around. And we place them on the upper side of a of a block. No. Mm, maybe not then. Let's go dripstone slab. Yeah, polished or the cut. How does that look? Yeah, unfortunately, this cover can't go um, up here because this is a half block. I, I do kind of like that for our basket shapes, right? Then we'd want, let's say, Rope. Um, one of these ropes. Mm. I want it to go up. So we can't do that, but maybe we could tie the ropes around the wall here. These are complementary ropes, and then use the, the Farmer's Delight ones to go up. Like, like that. Uh, and I don't know, maybe, maybe we could do that too. I just uh, realized because the brazier is going to be burning, it will kind of already look like the burner. Uh, okay, let's, let's do this on the upper half of that. Yeah, and then let's go up another block. These are kind of annoying to get um, the straw for, because we don't have a rice farm, but we can just uh, cut down some wheat uh, with grass, I think. Okay, then we want wool. Uh, I mean, we don't have to use wool to signify wool, but we have all of these chipped wools. I think it could be cool. So brown is kind of, let's have brown go with something, uh, let, let's go this patch, this patch stuff, let's go brown with yellow and uh, yellow pairs well with magenta. Mm, but maybe cyan? No, I think that would be a bit too much. Um, let's pair it with green, I think, actually. Grab this patch stuff.
All right, we could do something like this. And I'm not uh, the greatest at building balloon shapes, so we'll, we'll try our best. I don't want to use too many copycat stuff, so hopefully I won't have to. Let's see if we can get the shape right. Yeah, and then we can go up like that, and then like that. Um, sort of that, I think. How do those, how does that look? Right, nice, and then we'd want to bring the green in. Uh, like, let's say, something like draped over the top, maybe. How does uh, that look? Okay. Um, I feel like maybe it's too heavy looking. It, it does feel like we, we want to be using more like different types of blocks. What if I... Did that. Yeah, I like that more. Uh, that that's bad though. We don't we don't want this uh, edge, right? Um. Okay. I think we do want to use our our copycat steps. I could use. I mean, again, I don't. I don't want to use framed blocks though because um, they they don't place the blocks inside them, uh, and it's kind of annoying, right? Okay, let's let's just try this, right? Do that, and then for these ones, we do the full block, and then how does that look? We want it even further down, maybe. Uh, then it looks kind of weird here. Mm. I want like walls or something, right? But I... I mean... Is there a wall that's good for this? We could use Viridium. If it doesn't look too heavy, no, it's the wrong green. Um, no, not green steel. I mean, I don't think we can use. What about uh, what's it called? Uh, Midori. Ah, uh, there's no walls for it. I mean, I guess I guess what you what you do is, or uh, something, you do like that, right? Uh, 
That's not bad. Okay. Let's let's say that this is one design, right? Uh, we can actually get rid of uh, those now because we got rid of some of the ins inset, right? Um, I do like these being a bit higher. I think. Yeah, I think I think those that does look better. But maybe we're gonna use a copycat block anyway. How does that look? Yeah, it makes makes you think, well, we may as well be using it down here as well then, right? We might have to go mining for zinc, but I think there's an azurine vein. somewhere. Yeah, okay. I think that is this design. That's one design. Uh, now I'm wondering, do we want to be using different shaped balloons as well? I mean, let's just check this works, right? Light ritual. running, then we'd want a dominion wand, and we'd want, um, let's get another warper, I mean I guess right here. We want it to be standing there. And taking from there. Okay. So that that looks cool. I like I like how that looks. Right? I think that is good. So that can be one of the balloons. Let's um I think for the sake of my sanity we won't be using like different balloon shapes. So I'm just gonna try and palette swap these and build them. Okay. okay. I did just copy it with a schematic and it looks like, okay, so it doesn't carry over the ritual, which is fine. Uh, it shouldn't, yeah, it doesn't carry over the warper locations. That's also fine. These posts, have caused issues there. Um, so I'm gonna have to replace place those when I get the chance. Uh, but yeah, so I, I guess I'll show you a little bit of how I'm gonna design these, right? Uh, that. Okay, now a wall for these, we went a very similar color for that. Let's go, uh, God, do I, how would prismarine look? I don't really want to go around to get prismarine, but if it would look good, then I don't have much choice personally. How does dark prismarine look? Uh, I like I like the normal prismarine better. Hmm. I think the prismarine is the best. Lapis bricks. Maybe that. Another brick.
Okay, I guess uh, we'll... I mean, I know where temples are. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. So we will go for that then. Alright, so that will be those colours. The ropes are probably staying. Um, I, I mean, I guess I'm not gonna rope the posts because it messes with the schematic. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna just switch out the blocks here. Okay, I think for this one, I like this uh, white and cyan wool look. Yeah, I, I think I think for that one that will work. Uh, and let's try another one. All right, uh, I built the other two, and I changed up the design a bit, and it kind of makes me wish I changed up the design for um, this one more, um, because now it's like very similar to the first one, and uh, but we'll build it like this, and I don't know, maybe we can modify it in world since I already created the schematic, and I don't want to create a new one. Um, here, uh, I did this kind of uh, two-tone pattern with pink and red, as well as using this cut limestone and edelwood. Then over here, I used a lot of uh, grays um, and for for these uh, blue enchanted, so this one is fairly dark and compared to the rest, but I feel like it's a good contrast. Um, and I've also got it so it's got more of this um, like four patches look. Um, I think that that feels pretty good. Um, I feel like I probably could have used some different wall types as well, but eh, uh, I don't know, I think it's fine. Here using Dark Oak, Deep Slate, and here just using these ropes. Uh, I tried using like, chains and other types of ropes, but I think these, um, these are fine. So I am going to um, make the rest of these schematics and then we'll work on getting them in our world. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll have a duplicate of like one of these. Um, probably with that one if we're gonna have a, a second one. Even though I think I think I like this one the best. Um, but yeah, so after uh, we'll, we'll come back in the regular world. Okay, so I'm not surprised, but I don't think we have enough wool. Um, and we don't have enough string either. So, we could either fly around... Oops, I need to exit that. I could either fly around and try, you know, getting some, some wool or... Uh, I think I'll convert all of this to uh, white, since we're not using lime dye. Where is my washer? Here. And get rid of some of this as well. Um, we'll see if that works, like it said it would in JEI. That might not. Uh, okay. It works, it just doesn't uh, register through the filter. So yeah, so I've got my schematic cannons in here, and we'll grab this one for our resources. Um, and I've got our flat balloon schematics as well. Um, but we're gonna need the die, I'm sure we can find, like, come up on easily enough. Um, what we need is wool. Uh, more wool than we have here. Um, so we could just 
uh, grow our, what's it called, our flex with our regrowth spell, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, doing this for a couple minutes, um, and even modifying my spells to do it better. I think this uh, isn't working too great. So let's see if there is um, maybe. Oh, we can we can grind this up for better chances. Um. But maybe we also just need to run around and find cats, or not cats, uh, sheep. Okay, so from harvesting a bit more flax, we got two stacks. Let's uh, check if that's going to be enough. Um, I don't really care about positioning. Uh, does this have anything important on it? No, not really. Ah, oh, right, okay. Let's say I wanted to put it right there. It's not going to go there, but that's, let's imagine it's there. What would it require? How much wool? Because it's the same amount of wool for all of them. So, 51, 50, about a stack and a half. Um, right, that's 100 and, 101. Well, we have enough for, like, one. <laughs> um, so... Maybe I should set up uh, a bit more of a permanent way to get this. Okay. Um, yeah, let's set up a small automatic farm. Alright, I should have everything on me, uh, so let's just do this. Let's dig into this wall a little bit. Like so. Um, a bit much. Be more careful with that spell. Alright. And we wanna get a bit of a circular area. I'm just gonna do a very basic um, rotating windmill farm with this. Um, yep. And we are going to need some dirt as well, so I'll get... I don't have that, but well, we'll get that. Alright, so I've placed some dirt around there. Uh, do I not have a, a hoe? Oh, damn it. Okay. Wait, give me... Alright. Okay. So, uh, we're going to do a very small farm. Let's uh, also for you. Um, I... Okay, whatever, that one could stay. Um, yeah, so all we need to do is let's grab some block. Oh. And then we let's grab two temporary blocks like that. And in our contraptions box, I believe, have these. Um, uh, sure, let, in, let's actually go three out. All right. Oh, whatever, I can... That, ah, okay. Then, all we need is... Windmill. Um, 
You know what? Let's actually switch this out for a barrel. Mm. Yeah, okay. We go barrel like so. Then we can set our where is it? Yeah, portable storage interface that can go. Like that, then you need another one. I can go right here. And then we will just grab another barrel and a hopper. Uh huh. Now we grab our glue. We glue those. We don't need to glue the sail. That's automatic. And switch it to the other direction. Put everything away that we can. Okay. This has two blocks in between, so that should work. All right. Then what we need to do is just make all of this and um, I didn't really design it with a frequency in mind so it's we're gonna miss some of the places and um, that's fine. And also hear my coffee going up, so let me grab that in a second. Right. There we go. And now we just plant uh, a bunch of this stuff, and that will help us. Press it it's here. Yep. Just grow all of those. And then we can replant like this. Let's also use one of these, shall we? Alright, hopefully that is enough for now. Um, I do, however, think I, I probably should switch this to a draw with voiding eventually. Um, it's like otherwise, otherwise this is going to fill up and a bunch of items just laying around. Uh, I, I was speeding it up with my, my growth spell along the way, otherwise it would not have been that quick. Which, I mean, for you it doesn't. You can't tell, but... <laughs> but yeah. I wonder, can I actually speed that up? Yeah, yeah, it looks like I can. I believe that's working. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, good. Alright, all done. Hopefully this will be uh, enough for my, my things. Oh, it looks like we're uh, just shy of three. Um, but we can get started on making some of them now, at the very least. Uh, I don't know the exact breakdown, so uh, we're going to waste a bit of wool, but I do think we're just going to do a stack of each color. Um, so it's actually... We're going to need probably... Do a lot of... Uh, <laughs> die collecting. 
Uh, the moss clumps are fairly easy. You just need to shear mossy cobblestone, and then grow it as well. I can I can do that. Better yet, uh, just <laughs> use some of the moss, right? That's a much smarter idea. Okay, uh, we don't have anything. I think I'm um, probably a couple of wool short uh, on a, a, a few things, but uh, it should be fine. Um, so we can make at least uh, we can at least start on some of them. So let's fly up and let's say so that is. One, I don't know if that's going to stay there, but for now it is. We're not moving it. So let's first think about from um, aesthetic and then think about it from coverage, I think. So this area is, I think, like a little needs like one thing, right? It just needs something. So let's go up here, maybe. Let's not go that high. Let's go about here. Uh, let's grab a platform. Right here. And then we want our uh, U. So, come over, then come up, now this will be where we put, um, our bags, okay, we'd go there. But, Let's um, first. Right, we we didn't have flight there, so that, that's good on the it being like having the right coverage. So how does that look for our base? Uh, I like it there. Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Okay. So, uh, you know, actually, I, I think I want to pull it over a little bit. Um, I almost want to have it tied to the the side of the thing here. So maybe we actually put it there and bring it further away from that as well. So yeah, let's have it right there. We only think need one gunpowder, and if we check our list. Yes, we have everything. So we're gonna build this, and these are pretty small. So I think I'm just gonna let it build, and then uh, worry about and and not try and do multiple at once. Yep, and it is completed. So um, that is one. Okay, so then. Let's uh, grab all of our stuff. Okay, it looks like we overproduced a little bit, but we can always convert that back. Um, the dye is not very hard to grant. Let's see, we have mm, quite a lot of that left, so we maybe we don't pick these up uh, and we just set this schematic. Oh, oh, and we want to. Set the Dominion wand up. So we don't have flight here. Let's go over here. Grab flight. So what we want to do is okay. Um, break that. We want that to be going into the jar. How do we...
Okay, I'm so sending to the jar. Now. That. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to get a new warper. We want to say send to this warper and then this warper is going to send and it didn't automatically do that, right? Send to there. So yep, yeah, that's working. And now if we go here and grab a light rich wool. And put it there and then activate it. This should now be running. Um, so 33, uh, I'm going to wait for this to get down and see if it, oh yeah, just refreshed. Okay. So that means it's working. Uh, uh -huh. yes. Nice. So we need to build a couple more of these now. So this one is balloon two, which is the cyan and white one. Uh, I think those are the dyes. Oh, okay. Well, it should be fine. Right. Uh, we might need to get a few more, but where I want this one, I think I want it low. I want something low over there by the train station because it's um, when I'm on the ground there, I can't get the flight from jumping. So, um, so, so let's uh, go over there. Yeah, you can see here, I don't get it. So let's position this one. Um, we've got our train station here. Let's have it. We we want it not too low to the ground. So let's say. Maybe that height is good. And then I want it there and hmm, how does this look from out here, All right? Uh, I feel like I want it to the side more. And it still looks a little too low. So let's go up here. That's still within 60 blocks, right? Um, it should be. Uh, just to be safe, let's also move it a couple blocks this way. All right, so it's almost centered over the loop here. Let's move it back again. It's very low, but uh, we need it low, so so it'll have to do, <laughs> since, since that's how we've designed this uh, setup. Okay, so you go there. Do we have everything for this? Ah, we need the prismarine. Uh, and one white patched wool. So I'm gonna get those things. What do you know? We actually do have prismarine. I have no idea where we got that. Um, maybe from some like magic rewards or maybe looting. Um, but we can make a few of these. Uh, let's see. We wanted one slab and for that. Okay, no killing guardian today. Okay, that's everything. So now we just press play. And this one's going to build as well. And hopefully that should give us very good coverage. I think the next one is going to be up 
by maybe a little lower than that slime island. And I think I'll do the red one there. I'm not sure about the yellow and green one, since it's kind of similar colors as the, the vines here. Um, maybe out over there, a bit further out, or maybe just, maybe we'll have one around over here, and then another one down by there. Or, or we could have one, I don't know. I, I, I feel like we, we need more lower because that's where we typically going to need more flight or be able to reach the flight. Um, but I guess what, what I've got the flight for is for building um, around, not to get up. I think we should also, I think we're going to get rid of this uh, slime island today as well, so we can build our tree since that's kind of where I want my tree to be. I think this is already built. Yep. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get the flight ritual and the um, stuff set up. I think I should also um, mark these um, so that I know where they're going to. So I think how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to grab, uh, let's see, the Psy Animal for that one, that is there. Um, and because I don't think these are in permanent locations, um, but I do want to know which ones are going to be like down if I move it. This is the dark grey one. Yeah. And I, I packed up my stuff because I want to move to a different location to get this one over here. So let's go. Um, let's go over here, I think, to place the remaining two. But probably, probably one actually near the ground here, and then one up in the air here. Okay, I think I'm going to place that one there, so it's a bit more in view of the front side of the base. Um, yeah, whoops. Uh, right, I completely forgot to pack all of this stuff. If I remember how to do this right, because I don't have any evil good wood. Okay, yep, that works. Aha. Uh -huh. And... Oops. God. Sneaky. <laughs> oh, that's gonna bother me. I'll fix it eventually, I'm sure. Um, is this gonna be enough? Probably not. I think I, I need more. Uh, unless I can... Rip it? No, okay. Damn, that's a massive one. <laughs> Didn't even know they could get that tall. With the branch in my hand and the claws, it kind of, it kind of looks like a crab. <laughs> Oh neat, you can place them, that's a... That could be a cool decoration. Alright, this one's done. Uh, however, because of um, how it uses... Uh, first of all, let's... Uh, whoops. Let's get some flight. Yeah, that's in range. Okay, yeah. Um, so these won't place properly because these, um, the, the schematic doesn't like um, this stuff. So we'll have to do this part manually. Right. And it looks like uh, some of my stuff also went all the way to the ground. Let's, uh, one, there's more, two, 
Uh, we need three. If there isn't a third, uh, the dolphin might have got to it. I'll we'll have to make more then. Okay, there is that. Uh, all hooked up, so we just need to do this. Uh, this one's actually much easier to get at, that's nice. Uh, and then we need to add... Uh, we don't have any red filtered stuff left for this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to hook this one up. That will go here. Splitter. Just there. Then you are coming with me. Let me use the damn catwalk. Okay. <sighs> okay, we can send that now there. And that's filling that up. All nice. And then we just want to run that. Now our flight recharge here. I think when it gets to 30 seconds is when it decides to do that. Yes, okay. So yeah, that's good. That's good. So now we just need one more. Uh, and that is going to be this boy. Um, so I think I want it to be out near these two pillars. Or not pillars, but you know. Uh, maybe, maybe in the center of these. Let's just have a look at it from another angle. Mm, I think that's a two in line, so I think what we want to do, we want to push it that, and I also, I want it higher. Mm. Oh, okay. A bit too far, I mean that's why we want it here, right? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay. How does that feel? I like it. Uh, I, I think actually bring it even further in. Bring it further in, then up a bit. Yeah, yeah, I think that, that feels good. Right, we've got our um, a kind of, uh, like hierarchy, uh, art fundamental kind of going on by having stuff closer and further in the distance, and it's kind of framing our base here. Uh, now I just gotta hope that when I put this tree in, uh, it doesn't block off um, too much. How close it is. I think okay, I think I wanna push push it in even further. Right, it's not too close to the Yeah, okay. I'm going to push it in further. Nope. Slow down and then Yeah, okay, that's where it's gonna be. And now we're just going to build it and play. Mm, I think it, it, it looks a little off here, but I think it'll look better when we remove this slime island. I do want to know, because I, I, I mean, having slime would be nice. So if I don't know if how they spawn on this slime island, if it's... Oh, I, ha I haven't actually been up here. Um, I think it's actually the slimy water. 
If I get rid of the slimy water they stop, we'll have to test that in a second. For now, oh, I've actually got normal flight, okay. Good. For now, this gets built. Alright, that one is done, so let's go and power it up. Okay. I want to grab you. Do that. Place this back now. And let's go hook up the other part. Alright, now assuming I didn't mess up or anything, that should be all of our flight network. Um, so let's pack this stuff up. Yeah, we want to also, uh, you know what, I'll use pink to signify that one, even though I use the top color for everything else. Uh, in fact, I'll use the yellow for, the, for this one as well. That is everything. Right, I don't think I mentioned it, but I also changed this um, little outcrop for our mage bloom and sourceberries into kind of this hanging basket. Um, since whatever I had before, it just wasn't looking great. But yeah, now this is the yellow one, I believe. I wish it, really wish it said the location it's sending to. This is the pink one. And then, uh, what, is that it? Uh, everything sorted. I believe so. Nice, okay. Flight network complete. Um, or at least uh, complete for now. Um, if I need to extend it, like I find a dead zone, uh, I'll add another um, another one of these um, to kind of help. Um, I think right now, so we've got five. Um, I don't like we might have a dead zone like really high up, um, but yeah. Oh god, we're already an hour. Okay, well, hopefully this tree doesn't take too long to build. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to um, pack away some of this uh, slime and uh, then take down this island. Maybe one of these skystone tanks. We'll try this. Can this hold liquids? and be picked up. Otherwise maybe we craft a thermal reservoir. Oh, okay. Looks like thermal reservoir it is. Reservoir. Yeah, the, the, that's pretty easy. And uh, I'm gonna enchant this too. Yeah, that's 60 buckets. That's all good. It's gonna be uh, hard to get this stuff uh, with uh, how many slimes are around there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they don't spawn too quickly. All right. Um, okay, so I didn't manage to fill up the whole thing. Uh, that's fine though. It looks like there are less slimes now. Um, so let's just try and block this up. Um, yeah, this is how we're gonna do it.
Yeah. Then we can break it without the break spell. Hopefully, that's like everything. One more. Yeah, all good. Now we can clean this island up. I'm gonna, I think, grab the, the trees. Uh, just in case. Um, and I'll grab this slime as well. Uh, but as, as for the slimy dirt, um, other than, you know, what I've already got, I'm probably just going to let it despawn. I can actually fly to do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, annoyingly, it started raining as soon as I finished it, so um, you can't get an uninterrupted view. But um, you can see here, I've removed it. It actually cut quite deeply uh, into into here. Um, but yeah, so uh, I mean, we'll, we'll fix that up eventually. Um, for right now, it doesn't look too distracting, considering how chaotic. Uh, the whole structure is anyway. Um, so yes, so what I want to do I think is at this diagonal around this height have a large tree come out and I want I think in the canopy of the tree to have our um, arcane gold farm. Now I was gonna do pink the tree but because this is pink up here I don't want it to blend into it uh, and also I'm not sure how I look at at shift leaf um, yeah it looks like we don't really get um, what if we just look up leaves we leaves. Uh, vexing archwood, I mean we could do like an archwood leaf. The sweet blossoms are nice. I like the forbidden arcanus um, cherry leaves the most because they have the petals. Uh, we've got a bit of pink just in the structure with the... Oh, I should have gotten the spore blossoms from the bottom of the Thing. I forgot to do that. Well, well that's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking, let's try and figure out a color palette. In, in fact, um, because the episode's running long, I don't want another two-hour monster. Uh, I'm going to figure out the color palette, and I'll, I'll show you later. Okay, looking through my options, I think I like stripped dark uh, oak the most. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my nature's compass, because we don't have much dark oak. Um, and I grab, no, not this. I want my nature's compass, dark forest, uh, um, do we have, am I going to have to use, I wanted to just desecrate a forest. <laughs> Uh, maybe we'll have to set up a little bit of a system to just make a bunch of these. I'll try that. Okay, so it looks like just doing this process um, works pretty well. Um, we're positive on saplings. That's pretty fast. 
I've only been doing it for you know, like two minutes. And I've already got what five stacks. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this for a bit. And we just gotta run this all through the stripper. The log stripper. So I'm gonna also I think get some of this stuff out of here. Now I'm probably gonna turn it to bark, I think. But maybe the colour bark. I can, I can I can do it like this after it's stripped. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is uh, still going, but I think I've changed my mind a little bit on the leaves. Um, I I like pink leaves a lot, but I think maybe having golden leaves suits the build better since we are planning on having our um, arcane gold orchid uh, or arcane gold farm on top of it. So we there are a number of yellow leaves. Um, I mean there's the sunny blossoms uh, which we could find. I think uh, there's even one on the map. Uh, I thought there was. Is this? No, it's fiery blossom. Um, well you can't see them on the map since the colors don't show up for the blossoms but we could go around we could Grab a sunny blossom and do that pretty easily. Um, I don't think we have one. We could also use flashing archwood leaves. Those are yellow. Those are nice. Um, that's what we have more readily available. Um, and I don't know what other block we might mix into the leaves. Um, I don't really have a good way since we have no block zapper. I can't really easily make a kind of good airy leaf um, leaf up these branches. Uh, I think the gold will uh, work better as well. So uh, let's actually just check. Maybe there's a gold block that we could add to this. Um, uh, like we could, we could have like gold bars hanging off it. Uh, we could use some like yellow glass. Gold chains, yeah. I, I feel like uh, and there's also this golden ore block I think looks nice. That could be good leaves as well. Um we'll we'll find out. Um Touchstone of Midas repairs no. Yeah, we might we might have to go mining for gold if we like really, really want to use it. Uh, I don't think I don't know how much of the leaves we're gonna get done today with the remaining time we have. But also the yellow ties in with the um, glow berries. Um, I think it ties a bit better than the spore blossoms tie the pink into the color palette of the base. Uh, so yeah, let's grab these, and I think I'm going to start, um, just like placing blocks, right? I can always take them down with my fell spell pretty easily, I think, or my, um, one of my, my things. Uh, and also, I think I wanted to do this, didn't I? Well, it, it reduces our resources by quite a lot, but I think uh, it is going to look better. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and sketch out a bit of a shape for this tree. You know, I was supposed to be building all this time, but actually what I've been trying to do is figure out a way to create a kind of sketch with uh, Ars Nouveau because I can place from a further distance away and I feel like that'll make it easier. I want to be able to create like a, a, like a small cube, right? Not, not one block, but like a two by two, uh, by two. But I, you can't seem to place things 
deep. Like if I go delay, extend time, and then I place another one, and I, I do that, it, it still only places one, um, and it just waits to place more in the, the same spot when I want it to wait to place more further back it's annoyingly so I don't think there's a good way to do this so I might just have to sketch like this and yeah try and figure out where exactly this is going well I suppose even even this works pretty good for creating just like a, a, like a bit of a shape, right? Uh, we can see you now we, we want it to like wrap around up there and we want it to be a bit thicker. You just got to be careful that you don't overshoot um, because That'll create issues by placing it in random spots. Yeah, we want to thick up this trunk a little bit. Um, I feel like that comes about too much of an angle, so... And... This shouldn't be too hard to get rid of. Uh, if we don't like it, I should uh, I should look at reference. It's uh, it's kind of like sculpting actually, uh, how I've set it up with the spells, right? You know, I can go, yeah, I want to add add some material there. Mm, I think I want to beef out the material here, and then unfortunately I, I placed it in the wrong book, so it's a little. Uh, annoying to, to get back to my silk touch, but it's kind of fun. Uh, uh, or I mean, it is fun. It's very fun. I like it. It's good for organics. I don't build too many organics. I can see it um, being useful, for, like terraining as well. Okay, so this is the kind of shape I've gotten. Um, I think, actually, let me get rid of that, I think. And, and that, let's make this a bit more stubby. Um, and sharp. So I feel like I'm not super happy with how it looks over here, but I don't want to clutter it too much. Uh, I, like, I tried to make the trunk here feel very robust. I actually, I don't like how that's the same angle as that. Uh, so let's actually just have it come straight off, I think. And then do something like that. Right, I'm trying to, like, I, I want the branches to, like, feel chaotic and tree-y, um, but I don't want them to, like, completely crowd everything, right? I do think I like how that looks, though. So, yeah, and I feel like maybe also I'm going to need to beef out this area with stone, which I think I can actually do with a spell. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I think this spell should do it. Let's have a look how... Um, not... oh, you know what? It's uh, applying the amplify to the smelt. Oops. Um, I guess, is it really not close enough? 
what, well, whatever, whatever. Uh, let me this. So we want to do that and then smelt. Let's try that one. Okay, now, yeah, now that's working. So I want to beef out this area a little bit. And uh, the moss should grow over it by itself, but we can encourage it a little bit. Um, but I, I just, yeah, I just feel like we need the place um, near the that thing to feel a bit more beefed out. Um, we still want to create this like stacked boulders look though, right? Like that. Why, why is that? I was next to it and I was flying. This, I feel like this one is not working. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this actually. Is this activated? That one, I think, is actually that. Ah, okay. I didn't activate it. Whoops. Okay. Problem solved. Okay, we might go around with andesite to um, do that later, but for right now, I think what I can actually do is I can just go... Um, I go... Hello? There we go. And that kind of helps to tie it in a little bit. Um, it's a little too much of the same texture, but, um, you know, it'll be fixed eventually. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Now, um, I guess we want to exchange all of this with the stripped dark oak, which I should be able to just do with a spell and add some like AoE and pierce on it. And that should work. Okay, let's try this spell. So, uh, let's make sure. Yeah, that seems to work. We can do that. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, it's not really placing them how I'd want them placed, but uh, it gives a decent idea. If I look at dark oak wood, if I, if I look in here and look in the carpentry bench, um, yeah, none of these are really what you'd want, or what I want for this. So, I mean, this is fine. I, I might have to go in into here and swap some of these out. But it works pretty well. I'm, I'm gonna um, go and get the rest of my stuff. Oh, that's kind of annoying. No, oh right, I, uh, I, I'm using the wrong stuff. I forgot. I think I got it all back. So yeah, we just need to remember this stuff is what we want. Uh, there's probably still a little bit lost, but uh, I think this is most of it. Uh, I've undoubtedly wasted a lot of wood. Um, because this is like, this is very thick. Um, this, this stump and this is piercing um, the exchange into. Um, but I, I think it's looking good. I'm happy with the choice of wood. 
Uh, so I'm going to, I guess, farm some more. And, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have to manually switch these out so they're facing the right way. You know, I think I'm going to do something weird and actually convert a bunch of these into beams. And I'm going to change up the texture um, so that some of it uses these beams instead. Um, and maybe that'll be interesting. So I'm going to use my small exchange spell. And this one actually picks up the items, so I don't need to worry about losing stuff. Well, let's... Um, I want it to be... facing down, but unfortunately I can't really do that. Uh, so actually, so I think I'm, I'm going to modify this, go exchange, pierce 3, and then I'm going to go pick up, where is it, item pick up. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And and for a few of these, all right, just switch it, um, just to, you know, vary the texture a little bit. Okay, I've, saw, I've done some detailing on the tree, like branches. I, I've used a bunch of spruce here. Um, it's a little further away from the dark oak wood color that I was expecting, but I think it kind of adds a nice free tone color palette to this um, these logs. Um, I think the 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 white or the the lightness in this Dark Oak Beam is a little too strong for my liking, but it's not too noticeable. Um, so, so I do kind of like the end texture for it a bit more. In fact, I think... Like, I, I want to switch them out to, to this texture in some places, right? Just to break up that kind of white-yellow line that shows up um, like that. Yeah, and I think... And those as well. Yeah, I think that's a little more to my liking. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so this we're already an hour and a half. God, the videos keep getting so long. Um, I think... Uh, I, I keep saying what we're going to do in the intro and then not doing them. I think uh, this is a good place to end the episode. Uh, so we got these... Um, balloons in so our flight network is complete uh, and then and, and next episode I guess we'll start with the farm up here I've, I wanted to get working on the on the skyship routing next episode but um, we'll see right but for sure next episode we are going to leaf up this tree and um, and get our gold farm in on, on top of it um uh, but yeah so uh, what's a good angle for the, the screenshot we want the tree and some of the balloons so yeah thanks uh everyone for dropping by and i hope you had a nice day goodbye <laughs>